coffee without doubles. Stuart Small pin Fuchi Min bad haggard looking clown says that the UNC is corrupt. The UNC is corrupt because Eli Zakur, who went up against him in 2015 election in September, he got a gas station. Okay. Eli Zakur applied and tendered for open invitation in 2011 when unfortunately the proprietor of, proprietor of the gas station died. Went through a process by NP there with a board, a minister, a CEO, technocrats, invitation and won a tender. Okay, so Eli Zaku four years later goes up as a UNC candidate and that is Stuart Smallpin's expression of UNC corruption. Look at that connection. Zakul, a, a losing candidate, got a gas station four years before he went to contest an election. Hold right there. Let's use Stuart Smallpin's benchmark. Let's use his benchmark of corruption. Eli Zakul, no family as a minister, no friend, no father, no brother, he tender and he got a gas station and he's a shareholder in a company and they do that kind of business, all kind of different business. Okay, that is corruption, says Stuart Smallpin Young. Okay, Young, if that is corruption, what do you call a sitting minister of everything, a sitting Gary Sobers, a man at the right hand of the Prime Minister who goes into the office of the Prime Minister, sits in a cabinet, and the company of which his brother, his blood brother who looks just like him, small pins together, gets $3.81 billion of public sector taxpayers' money, government work, under the direct control of his brother and his prime minister. What say you? Because if you forget the first loan, when Munilal asked Rowley in parliament, why you move you the cut under the office of the prime minister from under HDC, under Ministry of Housing? Rowley said that did not happen. Munila then showed the Gazette 13 days before Rowley answered that was moved. And the very first loan that Stuart Smallpin's brother, DNA, blood, bandero, closeness, love he brother, together bright like he brother, look like he brother, small pin like he brother, wins a hundred and eighty million dollar tender to provide financing for Udicott. And then it just set off an avalanche of luck coincidence and brilliance for one brother of a super minister in the company CEO that he is to become a super billionaire producing financial institution beating out some that have had 50, 60, 70 years of experience and wide asset base. What you call that on your benchmark of corruption? Because remember, Stuart Young, we're using your benchmark of corruption. The UNC is corrupt because Eli Zaku, who had nothing to do with the UNC, no candidate, no nothing in 2011, was part of a business group that tended for a gas station that became available, and he won. And the gas station was even opened by UDP and I'm in 2017. And you know that y'all are known for scuttling tenders. Go back to the Bridgman's fiasco with the sea bridge. How many tenders were scuttled? At least two tenders were scuttled that the Galicia had won. And your government told the population the Galicia people did not want to tender. They refused to tender. But they did. They had won two. But you, the PNM, scuttled the tender. One of those tenders even the board had to be had to rearrange it because you put AV oil who did not tender with a boat and put them at the highest score to win the tender and put the Galicia number two. But somebody on the board said, Hey, hey, all you mad, it had no boat there, and they were disqualified. And, and Galicia won that board was then removed. Remember when in September of the fateful day before Rowley created a ministerial committee of which you were 
Walk Park and Colmin Butt and Champa Kujo and La Hunt to lease a fast ferry and y'all went to buy a slow boat to China, the Galleons Passage. Remember that? Rowley came out in a press conference, you were there, and he said the, the board was unable to find any vessel. Another tender scuttled. We then unearthed information that in fact 11 major companies had tendered, of which some of them were boats of sea jets which were known worldwide for providing ferries and so on. Both one to four had the capacity, the speed, the brilliance, but the tender was just scuttled. To do what? To allow Rowley and Smallpin, you Stuart Young, to go down to Australia to meet with companies, CEOs, private companies, not government to government companies. The government of Australia owns not one share in either Austal or Incat. You all toy it, you eat shrimps, drink scotch, you then come back and the companies give you in your hand the tenders and you, Stuart Smallpin, chair a committee to evaluate tenders. Your committee sees the tenders and says, wait now, Incat's bid is lower. At that point, even with your ridiculous corporate governance, INCAT should have been awarded both. But no, your committee, based on your words, you idiot, that you told, just because the police don't feel to investigate, don't mean it's correct, that you told the country that your, your committee contacted Austal, told them about INCAT's price, which is supposed to be a secret price, and Austal lowered their price by millions of dollars us dollars and then your committee recommended to the cabinet that you hand it out like dynamite dynamite one 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 to hostel and one to incat eli zaku win a tender for a gas station is corruption what about sitting in a cabinet and your best friend who look like you you the only thing is i don't think you just wear makeup but it is wear makeup sitting down right there brings a cabinet note to the cabinet a cabinet note comes from a colleague minister that the next minister who owned the Bennett building steps out for a coffee you Stuart small pen young rowley and all of your cabinet colleagues know the attorney general very well you know faris al rawi very well you're all on the same team the same political party the same government he advises the cabinet and you all sit down there and approve a 23 million dollar rental for the very attorney general who sits and advises your cabinet and later on you also approve 38 million dollars to outfit your cabinet colleagues building and you talking about eli zakur four years before he went up against you went in it with a company and tender for a gas station get a gas station he had no brother he had no mother he had no father in the government he not in the government he not in the cabinet but unc corrupt but brother father mother sister attorney general getting thing that not corrupt let me go again what if eli zaku bidding on a gas station in 2011 and winning a tender and then going up later in 2015 for a seat is corrupt what do you call a company bidding 300 million less than another major company and the cabinet of which you sit awards the contract to purchase the Clico insurance portfolio to Sajiko, a company in which your father was a part of, either sitting on the board or was actively on the board of Sajiko. And it was 300 million less. And your cabinet colleague comes and says and casts aspersions on Maritime and say they are not don't have a track record and that Sajiko is local, Sajiko is Barbados. So what about that? If Eli thing is UNC corruption, we use in your benchmark. So what word we have to use for that? If you have a super minister at the boomsy of the prime minister and his father is in charge of the international financial center receiving 15 million dollars of taxpayers money to invest as he want and do what he want and no checks and accountability what is that father is not closer than just a unc member or a candidate family is not closer what about 
when the economic development board resigns under terence farrell and the whole thing collapse and the prime minister tells his super minister gary sobers you know what i'm going to make your father in charge of a five-man committee that all investment have to come through him your daddy your daddy small pin and hear what your daddy small pin after meeting with all these investors will come to you and me at the opm and advise us on what we going to do and where we going to do that is that corrupt using your benchmark stuart small pin young but they have a way that all you really insane well, since you're talking gas station, I see that Rowley's best friend and, and senior counsel and attorney has applied for a gas station. That's okay. That's normal. You're allowed to apply through whatever process. If by some means of the tender process and so on, Rowley's lawyer, Rowley's friend, Rowley's brethren gets a gas station. By your benchmark of this nonsense, you're talking about UNC and Eli Zakur. Because you even say that Eli Zakur have a friend, eh? This is the friend and lawyer of one of the lawyers of the sitting prime minister and you in the OPM. Stuart Young, if Gilbert Peterson happens to win a gas station in this, this new liberalization that the PNM is doing, then you are saying that it is corrupt. If Gilbert Peterson won and he's an attorney, we didn't know about no big long track record in energy. Maybe he does and he does it secretly as a hobby. But if he is Rowley's lawyer, one of Rowley's advisors and close confidants and friends, and he won a tender for an energy bunkering contract and so on, would under your benchmark, Gilbert Peterson, Rowley and the PNM is corrupt because your benchmark is that Eli Zaku won a tender for a gas station in 2011. He became a candidate in 2015 and got the gas station up and PNM opened it in 2017. Didn't scuttle the tender, which means that the tender was probably very, very, very solid and it could not be scuttled. That you say the UNC corrupt and Eli Zaku corrupt. So what say you about all of these things? Because you continuously talk corruption. When the PNM that you are sitting in, only friend and family, you are talking about corruption. What about the Namdevco KFC? When the KFC man is the KFC report man, Mute in charge of the roadmap to recovery committee, what was he tendering for that? What was he tendering you used for the poor security companies that he was going to give COVID-19 security patrol contract? What was he tendering? All in this talk and people are just showing you all this. So use Stuart Smallpin's benchmark. He said the UNC corrupt because Eli Zaku tender with his company and he won a gas station in 2011 and he went up for a seat in 2015. Now, use that benchmark and see who is thief.